This is a presentation on the use of recycled concrete as aggregate in new concrete pavement. It's a study conducted at the WSU for Washington Department of Transportation and Pacific Northwest Transportation Research Center. So this is an outline of the presentation. We'll talk about the recycled concrete aggregate preparation tests and results. Then we'll talk about the mixing, uh, the hardened concrete test and result, and at, at the end we'll talk about the conclusions and the recommendations. So we grab the uh, recycled concrete from three sources. The first one is from uh, I-90 uh, near Lusley. Washington. The second source B is from a um, airport uh, in Spokane. The third one is from uh, I-5 uh, west of uh, Washington. So what we did is was we sieved the recycled concrete to remove the material below number four sieve. So basically, uh, in this study we only used the pros recycled aggregate uh, without using the fun recycled concrete aggregate. Uh, then the recycled the cross recycled concrete was washed to remove the fines. And we then sealed the recycled concrete in three uh, parts. Uh, later on we recombine per the gradation. So test-wise, on the recycled concrete, we measured the specific gravity uh, absorption, the LA wear degradation, and alk uh, uh, alkali silic reaction. Uh, all these tests uh, pretty much all needed by the uh, Washington uh, Department of Transportation in their specification except the specific gravity and absorption which are used for mixed. So if you look at the result on the bulk specific gravity uh, the SSD the uh, surface saturated uh, dry. So if you see the bulk specific gravity it's a little bit above 2.5 so which is slightly lower than the typical specific gravity value we see for uh, the natural rock. So this might be cause of the uh, some uh, cement paste on the uh, recycled concrete and particle. Also the absorption uh, is a little bit high. Uh, is about uh, about 3.3% uh, compared to the natural aggregate which is about a one percent or so. So again this is because of the uh, cement paste uh, adhered on the recycle on the aggregate. The cement paste has a lot of pores which absorb uh, a lot of water moisture. The LE wear uh, you can see that for three sources, they all meet the uh, duty specification, which is a, a maximum 35%. For the degradation, uh, you can see the source A is a little bit low, uh, source B and the C are uh, their degradation. Uh, meet the specification. By the way, this is unprocessed RCA, which means we didn't do the washing and those kind of things. Uh, so that means uh, the source B and C without processing meet the requirement and the source A uh, without being processed is a little bit below the uh, specification. Uh, then we did the processing, which means we uh, washed the aggregate. You see that 
uh, after processing uh, the recycled concrete or their combination with natural aggregate all pass the uh, specification of the degradation uh, specification, which is 30. For the alkali silicon reaction, uh, the there's a guidance which is a 0.1% expansion. Uh, the source A and the source C uh, recycled concrete A have uh, uh, expansion below the specification, uh, which meets the specification. But for source B, the recycled con concrete has a high expansion. That uh, means that doesn't necessarily mean source B cannot be used. A further test is needed. So the test that we conducted the T three O three is an expedited test, uh, but uh, there's a time uh, another test which is more accurate, uh, but uh, uh, the accuracy is better than T three O three. Another option is that uh, the for source B. The uh, ASR resistant cement uh, might have to be used. So for the concrete material here uh, used in this study, we follow the uh, mixed design uh, from central premix. So we uh, kind of prepared five components of coarse and fine aggregate and uh, used the type one, two uh, cement. Uh, from uh, uh, ash grow cement uh, in Oregon and also the type F fly ash uh, from uh, Centralia, Washington. Uh, of course uh, we also we also used uh, the air in training and the mixture water reducing the mixture. So uh, we combine the aggregate into the coarse and the farm uh, stockpiles and then we do the final gradation uh, with and without recycled the concrete the final gradation uh, match the, the uh, mixed design we received from uh, central premix which um, used all natural aggregate so then we did the batching uh, process uh, by controlling the slum and air void um, we, uh, fabricated the samples and did some uh, experiments. So the uh, mixed design is based on the calculation of aggregate in uh, SSD condition. So uh, we have to be careful because the recycled concrete is uh, can absorb it. Uh, we have to uh, account for the moisture needed for the recycled concrete. So we have to do the calculation, make sure that uh, the uh, SSD uh, condition uh, is used. For the best side, we use the uh, portable uh, mixer, uh, which can produce uh, about a six cubic yard. Of concrete, and this uh, picture shows the different materials we use, and then we dump all the aggregate into the uh, mixer, and then add the water and the mixtures and those materials. Uh, we also add the cement and the flash. Uh, after the mixing. Uh, or during the mixing, we check the slum because we want to control the slum uh, and also we want to control the uh, air void. So we adjust the air training and the water reducer, uh, the mixture, to keep the slum and air void um, uh, close to each other um, between the different mixing. Again, the air void we are trying to control is uh, between uh, seven to seven percent, four to seven percent, by varying the amount of uh, the 
air in training and mixture. Also, uh, there is a correct factor for the aggregate which we have to keep in mind. Uh, again, we control the air void and uh, by adjusting the air in training and the mixture. So, uh, we prepared a lot of samples for the uh, experiments, uh, like a compressive uh, strength sample, and also made a cylinders for measuring the coefficient of thermal expansion test, which is um, important uh, for the pavement design in the future. And also we prepared the beam sample using the vibrating table and we cover it with a uh, wet and towel and a plas plastic sheet on the beam. So air water we can the close to uh, 4 to 5 percent. Uh, you can see they are pretty close to each other. Uh, one uh, observation is that we found the recycled concrete uh, aggregate decreased the workability uh, because the recycled concrete is pretty uh, absorptive. Uh, we have to be uh, uh, careful uh, to adjust the moisture absorbed by the uh, recycled concrete. But we don't see much effect uh, of the RCA on the air content. Now again, we uh, adjust the amount of the air in training and the mixture to keep the air void uh, up as close as possible between different mixes. So, but adding the fly ash uh, seems to uh, increase the workability. Uh, so, a fly ash is a very fine material that it can be acting as a super plastic sizer. Okay. So you can see uh, from here the 0% uh, flash, uh, you need a little bit higher water cement ratio and uh, with 20% flash the water cement ratio uh, is a little bit lower. So we cure the samples uh, for comp all kind of tests in the water bath uh, and the controlled temperature uh, for curing. So we did the compressive strength at uh, 7, 14, 28 and 90 days. We used the three replicates. And uh, we uh, used the 16 by 12 inch cylinders with the steel, head, uh, steel cap, caps and some rubber pads. Uh, so we can do that the constant, relatively constant uh, uh, loading rate. We also did the flexural strength and uh, for uh, 14 days uh, using the beam. Uh, you can see the beam, uh, uh, the span is 18 inch. Uh, we used the Moisture ladder seems between the steel roller and the, uh, the specimen. We also measure the coefficient of thermal expansion, which uh, uh, affect the concrete pavement performance. Like uh, depending on the weather, the concrete may expand or shrink. This one will tell you if there is any difference between the coefficient of thermal expansion uh, between the concrete that contain recycled concrete and uh, concrete without any recycled concrete. So we cured the sample uh, for uh, 28 days and then put in a water bath which cycles the temperature, measure the length change of the uh, uh, concrete sa uh, samples. So, so this is, uh, you put the sample uh, in the frame with the LVDT measuring the uh, length change of the 
uh, sample. Also, we measure the uh, drying shrinkage uh, with the uh, concrete samples uh, with the dye beads. And we also did the freeze dough durability uh, study. We put the follow the acetal T161 experiment method, put the sample in the water and cycle the temperature for uh, uh, 0, 50, and 100 cycles. Then uh, we used the uh, non destructive test method using the frequency based on the uh, resoundance uh, non-NDT method. So we can keep measuring the properties of concrete after the different uh, freeze dull cycles. And the second method we use the flexual jet, which is also a non-destructive test. So we can monitor the fluctual strength of the concrete uh, after a certain uh, number of cycles of the freeze and thaw. So the results uh, from this test can be used in the uh, mechanistic empirical payment design to predict the performance, see if the use of the recycled concrete would affect the performance of the concrete pavement. So here are some results. Uh, if I go back to zero percent flies, you see the they all also meet the requirement. So overall, the the use of recycled concrete as aggregate didn't affect the compressive strength. We also did a statistical analysis confirm the observation. Uh, overall, you don't see consistent uh, difference in the compressive strength between the three recycled concrete sources. Uh, also, another observation uh, is that the uh, strength gain uh, was not affected by the RCA. You can see for 0% uh, RCA, 0% fly ash for different uh, current days. So if we use the 28 days as a benchmark, you see that the at 90 days uh, is 114% of 28 days strength. Uh, with 45% RCA and then after the 90 days is about 112% uh, of the uh, 28, day, 28 day strength. So there's really no difference. Uh, another one is that if you use the fly ash, the ultimate strength is a little bit higher. So you can see from here, uh, without, a, uh, without uh, only 0% uh, fly ash, uh, the, 20, the 90 day uh, compressive strength is uh, between 5000 and 6000. If you use the 20% fly ash after the 90 days, is uh, between 5500 5, and 6500. So, with the fly ash, is a little bit uh, stronger. But the RCA didn't interfere uh, with the fly ash. You can see from here. here. For 20% fly ash, 0% RCA, and 20% fly ash, 45% RCA, we don't see much difference in terms of the uh, strength of growth. Another one we did is the flexural strength or the modular structure. Uh, again, you can see this is the control without uh, RCA. These are the different percentage of RCA. 15, 30, and 45, three sources, A, B, C. Overall, we see there's really no difference. Uh, after 14 days, you can see the flexural strength is about uh, 800 PSI. So this is for 20% fly ash, and the same thing. Or, uh, the wash starts require at 
uh, least 650 psi after 14 days. So we can see the flexural strength that we got from this study is about 800 psi, which exceeds this requirement. So we don't see any uh, effect from the RCA on the modulus rupture. Uh, also, we measure the coefficient uh, of the thermal expansion and typical uh, coefficient of thermal expansion for natural aggregate is between uh, 8.2 and 10 uh, minutes per degree uh, Celsius. The result that we got is, uh, uh, I'm sorry, so the natural aggregate, uh, their coefficient of thermal expansion uh, value is between 5.8 and 12.6 from the literature. The concrete we tested uh, have a coefficient of thermal expansion between 8.2 and 10, which is uh, well within the range uh, from the literature. Again, we don't see the recycled concrete uh, affects the coefficient of the thermal expansion. For the drawing shrinkage, uh, we, we typically see that if you use a 30 and 45% replacement uh, with the RCA, you have a little bit higher shrinkage, but uh, no uh, conclusion can be made. The difference is relatively small. Uh, concrete uh, sample we tested yeah, for the drying shrinkage. From the literature for traditional concrete, you can see it's between 4 uh, and 8 times minus 4. Uh, what we got is here is 5.5 to 7.1, which is within the range of the literature. For the uh, freeze and thaw durability, as you can see, we are in this uh, case, we are using the Frequency a non destructive test. So we, we can see for the same sample, after uh, 50 and 100 cycles, we don't see a uh, significant uh, reduction of the mode of frequency, means there's really no uh, degradation. Uh, so also, we used the, the test result to uh, you put them into the mechanistic empirical payment design guide and the program can predict the, predict the uh, payment performance. So after the 20 years, so we can see that uh, traditional concrete, control concrete gave you about 154 uh, of RII, the International Roughness Index. Uh, with a different RCA percentage, we don't see significant change from the uh, control uh, mix. So uh, it seems that the use of RCA didn't affect the concrete payment performance. Uh, in conclusion, uh, we believe that RCA should be sieved and washed to remove the fine uh, materials. And this study is limited to the coarse recycled concrete uh, as aggregate. Uh, the use of the fine recycled concrete aggregate, which is below number four steel side, is not studied and should be used with care. And it seems the recycled concrete uh, in a concrete sample reduced the recoverability. Uh, probably because of the relatively high absorption. Uh, the alkali silica reaction may exist. Uh, in this case, a, a more accurate test method needs to be used, and uh, some uh, uh, mitigation method, such as use the ASR free cement, should be used. Fly ash uh, can be used to improve the workability. Uh, and uh, mitigate the ASR. 
and the RCA from uh, three sources uh, from the, in this study didn't uh, seem to have any effect on the properties of the hardened concrete. Uh, same thing, we didn't see that RCA affected the durability. Uh, so the high quality RCA uh, we used in this study seems to be able to uh, replace the traditional aggregate up to 45% uh, in this study. So further study is needed uh, to see if we use more than 45% I see will it affect the performance of concrete. Also, uh, we needed to establish the uh, RCA uh, specification, and uh, uh, we need to do more uh, the free out durability study. We only conducted at uh, non-destructive test and uh, zero fifty and hundred free down cycles. Uh, next, the uh, presentation uh, for the use of uh, RCA in concrete. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, contact us. Here is the information. Thank you.